What is going on guys? Jason Gilly back with another pigeon and another video. And today we're at the Santa Monica Pier and we're starting off the video with a wild hip on top. I will definitely take that. I think I may have go plus it on accident. I'm hoping that's not the case, but we're gonna see what happens here. Okay, no I didn't. Okay, good. One, two, three. That's a rare spawn to start this video. I'll take it. Let's go ahead and check IVs on it. They're horrible, but that's a cool thing to trade. I'm gonna trade that because that's something that uh, would look cool as a lucky Pokemon. We're gonna walk around though. We got a legendary raid right in front of us. We got a couple more raids in the city and hopefully we can get some rare spawns. Let's see what the Santa Monica Pier streets place area has for us. Okay, and we got some eggs to pop up. I honestly don't even know how many 5Ks these are. I think this is at most three five kilometer eggs. Elekid, it's been a while since I got Elekid. Oh, you know what? That'd be a cool trade because this will turn to Electivire in Gen 4, so. Elekid might not be a bad thing to trade. I'm gonna keep that. Egg number two is a Mudkip. I could just tell it's bad IVs. Yeah, never mind. It was only two eggs. That's, that's gonna be it for now. Okay, so right now we're actually hopping into a curly array. What is that? Anyways, let me. Somebody's singing. We're hopping into a. I literally have a Pokemon that's bigger, that has more CP than the Meta, than the raid boss Metatite, so this should go down very quickly. Brandon's over there behind me, sitting down right over yonder. It's pretty much it for Metatite. There is a possible shiny chance here, so that'd be cool. I already have one shiny Metatite, and I want another one, because Metachan looks freaking awesome, so what is, what is that? Oh, a whole motorcycle, nice. I can't, more, mm, these motorcycles, man, I'm telling you, I don't know what it is. All right, one, two, three, let's see if you check. Okay, not a shiny for me. I don't know if it's gonna be good or not, but, oh my God, that was almost 100%. This could be a 98, there's a good chance, but it had HP and attack, so good meta type right there. I'll have that noted. We also completed something. I don't know what it is. I think it was three great throws. A little ghastly action, okay. And then we're actually gonna go do the uh, curlier. 392. All right, who cares about gas? Anyways, we've got a curly raid right here that we're gonna go do, so uh, let's do it. We're about a couple steps away from this curly, but we got one Alolan neg, and I'm gonna name it Nemo. Sandshrew. And that Sandshrew was horrible. Oh, wait, what? I thought I only had one. Diglett right here, and yeah, horrible. Three, two, and one. We're gonna hop into the raid right here. This should go down quicker than a lot of raids I've ever done. We got 10 people in here right now, so Curlia does not stand a chance. I still don't have a good Gardevoir, so I would like a good Curlia. And Curlia goes down just like that. That was a quick raid. Curlia with a CP of five. 450, oh wait, I, w I don't know what the regular CP is. I only have two boosted ones. Had to pine up that curly really quick and get some quick candies in. Okay, another great right there. Uh, actually, we're kind of low on balls here, so let's, all right. We got one, well, we have one ball left. How many have I thrown? Okay, I'm gonna Golden Raz. If I miss this ball, I'm gonna be hella upset. Okay, we got a great right there. Great and Golden Raz. Curly, you better relax. It's a gosh darn Friday. One, two, three, that's what I thought. It's a Friday, relax, Curlia. So uptight. 452. And it's horrible. Okay, we got some eggs right now. We also have a red steel raid right on top of us. We got two kilometer eggs. Puchiana right there had a shiny potential. But after this raid, we're gonna do a nice, I'm not even gonna check. We're gonna do a nice, nice special trade that I'm super excited for. We're gonna be trading for a legendary Pokemon and seeing if we can get a legendary lucky Pokemon because that is super exciting. Sheldon right there, I think this one might be good. It's got attack, but yeah. And then this is the last two kilometer egg. Let me fix the camera. This is the last two kilometer egg and then we're gonna hit the raid, another Shelter. This was a bad one as well, so that kind of sucks, but we're gonna go ahead and hop in. Are you ready, are you in? Down goes Reg Steel. probably gonna get 12, let's see, we're hoping for 12.40. 12.36, couldn't even get a 12.40. That is just sad. You know what? I'm gonna start pineapping because I don't catch these anyways, so. I guess I just pineapple, right? Kind of small circle, but I clenched it out. So let's see if he can jump out, 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 jump out. Don't catch him. Okay, next one's in a row here. Okay, that's two in a row. We needed one more. This should be very easy. Come on. Just don't, don't, don't be caught, because I'm gonna be hella upset. I'm gonna be hella upset. Okay, dang, wow, Rich Steel, showing some heart. All right, I need to clutch up an excellent. I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna mess up. I'm gonna choke. Oh, let's go, baby. Three excellents in a row, give me that Law Retar. That'll be a good addition to the video as well. One, two, this should go down. Three excellents in a row, you don't even like me. That was cool, you like that? Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can get a shiny Larva Tar. Mm. Oh, I'm just kidding, that'd be ridiculous. All right, 
377, don't know if that's good or not. And IVs on it, I can just tell they're bad. Oh, we got attack on it. Doesn't mean it's good, but it's got attack, so I'll definitely take that, and we're gonna trade. We're gonna do this right now, you ready? So, Brandon is gonna give me a Rayquaza of his choice, yes. bad or not, it's gonna reroll, and we're gonna try to get a lucky Pokemon. I'm gonna give him one of the oldest Pokemon I have, and we're hoping to get something good. Can we be quiet, please? Okay, here we go. Uh, I got my King, my King This is one of the oldest Pokemon I have. You were giving me a Rayquaza. Yes. Can we get a sh lucky legendary right now? This 500 is 500 kilometers, not too bad. This is a special. Are right, you ready? Yeah, this is it. All right. Can we get a lucky legendary? Confirm. Take my starters. All right. All right, we're going up. Oh, are we doing this? We're doing this? Going, going down? Oh, gosh, man. Oh, God. All right, let me, know, do? let me know in the comments if it's a lucky legendary. Well, it's my favorite legendary, so if it's lucky, it's probably going to get maxed out, regardless of what I mean. <laughs> That's not true. That's not true. It's going to have good IVs regardless of if it's when it's lucky. Stop, stop, stop. You're cheating. You're cheating. You're cheating. You're cheating. You're cheating. Italy. Are we doing this? Ready? One. You got to come down. Oh. No. No. That sucks. That's true. I'm sorry, dude. We oh, tried. It happens, it happens. Wow. Well, take another Rayquaza. This one sucks too, but hey. I gave him a very, very old Pokemon too, so. This hat didn't work, but hey, what can you do? I'll take another Rayquaza, I guess. It does not hurt. But we tried, and that's all that matters. And we've made it back to the house. Now it's time to get into some super exciting and super important and useful information. I have an article here that talks about all the new generation four evolution Pokemon that are gonna be coming soon to Pokemon Go. Who knows when, but they're gonna be coming soon, I hope. And we're gonna get into which ones are the best ones in terms of attack, defense, stats, what moves they're gonna learn, and projected evolution requirements. So this is gonna be a very exciting article, and hopefully you guys can get well prepared for generation four. Whenever that does come out, we can get into the best Generation 4 Evolution Pokemon. A piece of information that is pretty important to keep in mind that is right at the top of the article says Generation 4 will bring, along with brand new Pokemon, 7 baby forms and as many as 22 additional evolutions of Pokemon we already have. I'm sure most of you guys knew that information already, but we're going to go through each of those 22 Pokemon and rank them based on if they're good or not, if they're going to be relevant, if they're going to be just eh Pokemon. All of that is going to be covered in today's video. Reading the last paragraph here, there are 10 special evolution items introduced in Gen 4. The Shiny Stone, Dawn Stone, Dust Stone, Razor Claw, Razor Fang, Protector, Magmarizer, Electrizer, Dubious Disc, and Reaper Cloth. However, we'll have to wait and see how Niantic decides to handle evolution methods. So. Do we really think they're gonna introduce 10 new evolution items? I don't know. I really don't know how they're gonna do this. I'm sure they're still figuring it out. Do we really think they're gonna add 10 evolution items in addition to the, what, six or so that we have right now? I think that's gonna be a bit much, but you never know what they're gonna do with that. But anyways, it's time to get into it. The best Generation 4 Pokemon that have pre-existing evolutions in Pokemon Go. Coming in at the number one and most useful out of these Pokemon coming, you guys probably guessed it, Rhyperior. It is a supreme, supreme Pokemon in terms of ranking. It's got a max CP of 3869, a base attack of 241, a base defense of 224, and a base HP of 230. If that's not... If that's not a good combination of balance and OP at the same time, then I don't know what is. That CP, the attack, defense, and HP, all very, very cool, and I'm very excited for that. It's a ground and rock type, evolved from Rhydon, not Rhyhorn. You have to evolve from Rhydon. And the projected evolution requirements are going to be 100 candy and an evolution item, which is Protector. Rhyperior is going to be a really, really good Pokemon, and I cannot wait for him to be in the game because he is going to be a beast, and he's pretty much ranked at number one in these Generation 4 Evolution Pokemon. I'm only going to go into detail on the first couple of top-ranked Pokemon, and then when it comes to the average or mediocre ones, I'm going to kind of go, them, go through them more quickly. So there was Rhyperior, very cool. And another one that's very awesome is Mamoswine, coming in with a max CP of 3,289. A base attack of 247, defense of 157, and HP at 220. It's a ground and ice type, evolved from Pilot Swine, as most of you guys know, and the projected requirements are 100 candy plus learn ancient power. Now, this is something they could do, which I think is very, very cool. You have to use a TM to evolve into Mammoth Swine. I think that would be very cool, very doable, and it should not be a problem. I like that idea, and I hope this actually works. Mammoth Swine and Rapiri are ranked supreme in terms of all of these Generation 4 Pokemon, so they, they are top tier. They are top tier. We're moving on to the next 
tier which is relevant. Coming in at number one on the relevant rankings are Tangrowth with a max CP of 3110, attack of 207, defense 219, and HP 200. It's a grass type Pokemon evolved from Tangela. This should require, or the evolution, projected evolution requirements are 50 candies and learning ancient power. The reason why this is relevant is that Tangrowth with the right moveset can be one of the best grass type Pokemon in the game, maybe even the best type gra grass type Pokemon in the game because it's kind of a beast. The next Pokemon is Electivire with the max CP of 2904, attack of 249, defense at 173, and HP at 150. It's an electric type Pokemon, projected evolutions are an evolution item and 50 candy. Something super, super important to keep in mind with Electivire is that if Niantic decides to give it wild charge, it will become the top DPS electric ta attacker moving Raikou out of the way. Next, we got Roserade coming in with a max CP of 2783, a base attack of 243, defense 206, and HP at 120. It's a grass and poison type Pokemon evolved from Roselia, and the projected evolution requirements are 50 candy, and an evolution item being the shiny stone. Roserade is gonna be a really good grass type Pokemon, but because of its 120 HP, it's gonna go down pretty quickly, so Roserade is definitely a relevant Pokemon, but won't be the most reliable. Next, we got Magnezone coming in with a max CP of 29.96, an attack of 238, defense at 217, HP at 140. It's an electric and steel type Pokemon evolved from Magneton with a PER, is what I'm gonna start calling it, um, of 100 candy, and it's, it's supposed to be evolved in a magnetic field location. No idea how they're gonna do that. There are the fast moves right there, there are the charge moves right there. Feel free to pause the video if you want to check those out. The cool thing about Magnezone is if it gets wild charge, it will be one of the best electric attackers in many situations. So again, if it gets wild charge, and that's kind of the case with a lot of electric type Pokemon, if it gets that move, then it's going to be amazing. Next, we got Honchkrow with a max CP of 2566, an attack of 243, a defense of 103, and an HP at 200. It's a dark and flying type Pokemon of Wolf or Murkrow, and the PER is 50 candy plus an evolution item. And something super useful to know is that Honchkrow is a glass cannon, yes, but if it gets foul play or dark pulse, which Murkrow already knows, it would have 10% more DPS than Tyranitar. Oh my gosh, with Sky Attack, it would become the fastest counter to fighting types, even beating Mewtwo. So a good Murkrow is actually super important to get. Next, we got Togekiss with a max CP of 3171, an attack of 225, a defense of 227, and an HP at 170. It's a fairy and flying type Pokemon evolved from Togetic, and the PER will be 50 candy and an evolution item. With these stats, Togekiss is going to be one of the better fairy and flying type Pokemon. Next, we got Weavile coming in with a max CP of 2815, a base attack of 243, a base defense at 182, and HP at 140. It's a dark and ice type Pokemon evolved from Sneasel with a PER of 50 candy and evolution item and it needs to be evolved at night. Now on to the last Pokemon in the relevant rankings, we got Glaceon with a max CP of 2866, an attack at 238, a defense at 212, and an HP at 130. It's a nice type Pokemon evolved from Eevee and, should, and the PER should be 25 candies plus a location, so it needs to be evolved at a certain location. Now it's time to take, now it's time to get into the next rankings. We have 12 more Pokemon to rank as of right now, so we're gonna go ahead and go through them pretty quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about just their base uh, stats if you guys want to know more, it's on the screen, so feel free to pause the video whenever you feel like it. Let's get into number one on the quote-unquote viable rankings, Leafeon. It's a grass-type Pokemon evolved from Eevee with a max CP of 2849, 216 attack, 254 defense, and at base HP at 130. Next, we have Magmortar, a fire-type Pokemon evolved from Magmar. It's got a max CP of 2980, attack at 247, defense at 186, and an HP at 150. Moving on, we got Yan Mega with a max CP of 2873, a base attack of 231, a base defense at 172, and a base and a base HP at 172 as well. It's a bug, a bug, it's a blug and flying type Pokemon evolved from Yanma. Now we got Porygon Z with a max CP of 3072, a 264 attack, 153 defense, and 170 HP. Normal type Pokemon evolved from Porygon 2. Coming in next, we got Gallade with a max CP of 2964, 237 attack, 220 defense and 136 HP, a fighting and psychic type Pokemon evolved from a male Curlia. Then we got Glysaur or Glissor with a max CP of 2602, 185 attack, 248 defense and 150 HP, a flying and grind ground type Pokemon evolved from Gligar. Next we have Miss Magius or Miss Magius with a max CP of 2465, 211 attack and defense 
and 120 HP. Ghost type Pokemon evolved from Mistrevis. That'll be a super exciting one to get. Next, we got Dusnor with a max CP of 2046, attack at 180, defense at 254, HP at 90, and it's a ghost type Pokemon evolved from Dusclops. The next one on the list is Frostlass with a max CP of only 1857, 171 attack, 150 defense, and 150 HP. Ghost type Pokemon evolved from a female from the female version of Snorunt. Next, we got Probo Pass uh, with a max CP of 1863, base attack of 135, base defense of 278, and a base HP of 120. It's a rock and steel type Pokemon evolved from Nose Pass, as you can obviously tell. Next on the list is Ampa bomb with a max CP of 2218, a base attack of 205, a defense at 143, HP at 150, and it's a normal type Pokemon evolved from Apom. And the final one on the list is Licky Licky with a max CP of 2359, a base attack at 161, a defense at 181, HP at 220, and it's a normal type obviously evolved from Lickitung. That is the complete list. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you guys want, you guys can check out the article. We'll go ahead and screenshot this right here. This is the new generation four evolutions everything you need to know about them it shows their ranks CP what they evolve from what they look like and it's gonna be a very useful picture for you guys again Rhyperia and Mamoswine very very good Pokemon in the supreme rank then you got Pokemon like Electivire Magnezone and Honchkrow which are low-key hella good and Tangrowth again can be one of the best grass type Pokemon and then you got the viable um, section and the ones that are just dex fillers, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope you guys found it useful if you guys did make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you guys have not already I cannot wait until generation 4 comes out. I gotta keep in mind I want to get a good Murkrow because that Honchkrow is gonna be a beast I want to get a good Tangela, Rhydon, I want to get a good Piloswine I'm actually gonna grind and try to get some good versions of those Pokemon because some of those again are gonna be pretty relevant But again, hope you guys enjoyed have a great rest of your day, and I'll see your faces later Deuces